Today, I'm gonna to show you something so amazing that you might think I'm actually lying to you, but I can assure you I'm not. This is 100% real and um, it's freaking me out. <laughs> There's a new system powered by artificial intelligence that will turn any text you type into your own voice. The system analyzes what makes your voice sound the way it does and figures out how to recreate it. You give it some text and it synthesizes your voice from what it learned. That wasn't me. That was the system. <laughs> it's stolen my voice. <laughs> the system's called Prime Voice by a company called Eleven Labs. So in order to get it to learn your voice, you've got to record yourself and then upload it to the system so it can see what you sound like. Then it will analyze it and process it and try and figure out what it is that makes your voice your own. I don't know about you, but I'm impressed. Give it a few years and this will be indistinguishable from my actual voice. Now, I think if you knew me and spent any great length of time with me, you'd probably clock that that wasn't me. I sent the clip to my friend on WhatsApp and he said if I hadn't have told him that wasn't me, he wouldn't have known. And I think regardless of whether it sounds like me or not, the fact that that voice was generated by a computer is incredible on its own. That sounds like a person. That sounds like an actual person. Let's try getting it to say something else. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, Little Haywood is where I spent most of my days. Cheese, eggs, ham, oh, I love it when a flan comes together. There ain't no party like an S-Club party. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had more YouTube subscribers. Why don't you subscribe now for more amazing videos? So, does this make you think of anything in particular? Hey, Janelle. What's wrong with Wolfie? I can hear him barking. Is he okay? Wolfie's fine, honey. Wolfie's just fine. So basically, you've just got to record yourself waffling on for a bit and then upload it. So I'm just doing a few more voice recordings because I've tried it a few times and every time you upload more of me talking, it sounds a little bit better. It sounds more like me. At the moment, I sounded a bit, bit posh. Some people say I sound posh, but I don't think I sound that posh. Do I sound posh? If you're in America, I probably don't sound posh at all. I'm probably like, all right, mate, want a kebab? It's quite hard to think of things to just talk about off the top of your head. Oh, isn't that a nice mug? Oh, I do like supermarkets. Let's talk about some British things. Isn't the weather poor today? Oh, a bit grey, isn't it? Oh dear. Love a bit of sun. So we just take that recording that I've done. Give a name here. Dave's voice. We select the recording that we just made. My yabbering. We tick a box to say that it's my voice and I'm, I have the right to use it. I guess if anybody does, it's me. Add voice. Once you've added it, there's a couple of sliders you get. Something called stability. And if it's more stable, it's kind of more flat and monotone and if it's less stable it has more expression to it up and down and pauses and breathing and variation in the notes of your voice but it can sound a bit weird it gives you another slider here for clarity um which i'm not entirely sure what that does to be honest have a play with it yourself and then you just start typing what should we get it to say dave this is you from the future don't eat the ham that's two days past its use by date it's not worth it so I don't know if it's just me, but it sounds more like me the more I use it, I'm sure. So what can this be used for? Well, first, some benefits of generic text voice where it doesn't really matter who it sounds like. Human sounding voices are great for people with visual impairments who have computers read things out loud for them. Hearing a more human sounding voice will make it easier to listen to things for longer periods of time over an obvious computer voice. It can make virtual assistants sound more human and more likable. How about marketing and making adverts? You don't need to hire a voice actor, which is obviously bad for voice actors, but for companies, it's a lower cost. You can change any of the speech in your advert at any time without having to call the actor or actress back. Then what about the benefits of a system like this that can actually clone any existing voice? Well, maybe you could use it to learn a language and it speaks with the actual accent of the language that you're trying to learn. Meditation apps will never be the same again when they all start using the soothing voice of a Geordie. Why, amen? Maybe people with debilitating speech impediments could use it to communicate more efficiently. Celebrities could hire out their voices without actually having to do any work. I can see this getting to the point where you could listen to an audiobook narrated by any actor that you want. You can just choose it from a list. Can you imagine? I'll just set the default to Morgan Freeman for everything. I'm going to go a bit out there with this idea, but imagine in the not too distant future, a company that records your voice on your deathbed so your family could hear you speak anytime they wanted in the future. Maybe feed a general AI with stuff that you've written so it can learn how your personality responds to things and, and actually pretend to be you. Actually, I'm sure that's an episode of Black Mirror. Voice Angel. It's Grandad, but without the casual racism. My granddad wasn't a racist. So what problems could this kind of system cause? Well, there's obviously the problem of abuse with this. People have already used this technology to clone celebrity voices and make them say awful things. Then there's crime. 
Imagine your nan getting a call from somebody that sounds just like you and they ask her to transfer the money. Ugh. Artificial intelligence and its uses are growing faster than we can create controls for them and that scares me a lot. All these things are cool, but we're opening cans of worms that we have no idea how to get all the worms back in. What? Anyway, what uses can you think for this particular system of cloning voices and how does that make you feel? Leave me a comment below, please. I'll put a link in the description so you can have a play with it. You do need to put your card details in so you can get to the point where you can train it on your own voice, but you get a month free and you can cancel before it charges you. Have a go with it and share your results with me, please. Bye for now. Hi, it's me, Fake Computer Man again. If you enjoyed this video, I'd recommend getting stuck in and watching the video up on your screen next. Toodle pip. <laughs>